Hello everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, we're diving into a hot topic. Should you use fast charging on your iPhone? There's been a lot of debate around this and today we're going to break it down for you. Fast charging and wireless charging are often said to be bad for your phone for one primary reason, heat. When you use fast charging, it tends to generate more heat compared to slow charging. This heat buildup can be concerning because generally speaking, heat is bad for battery health. However, from a battery chemistry perspective, the speed at which the battery is recharged does not inherently harm the battery. This means that while heat can be an issue, the act of fast charging itself isn't directly damaging to your battery's chemistry. Despite this, there are some users who claim that using a slow charger has helped them preserve their battery health better than using fast chargers. This opinion, however, is less common. Most people don't notice a significant difference in battery health whether they use a fast charger or a slow charger. It's important to consider that individual experiences can vary, but the overall consensus is that the difference isn't substantial. If you're looking to charge your phone only up to 80% to help preserve battery health, there's a handy trick you can use. By putting the low power mode button in your control center, you can easily activate it and receive a notification when your phone reaches 80%. This can help you manage your charging habits more conveniently. Now, let's address a common practice I've seen discussed on forums like Reddit. Some users charge their device as soon as it drops to 40% battery. Personally, I don't agree with this approach. Limiting your phone usage to avoid dropping below 40% essentially means you're not using 40% of your battery's capacity. It's like having a phone with 60% battery health and charging it to full. Instead of experiencing reduced battery life years down the line, you're dealing with it every day. In my opinion, people should charge their phones in a way that suits their lifestyle and not stress too much about it. The inconvenience of constantly worrying about battery percentage and charging habits seems worse than any minor benefit you might gain in battery health over several years. Sure, you might end up with slightly better battery health after three years, but the trade-off is dealing with daily inconvenience. It's just not worth it. In summary, while fast charging does generate more heat, it doesn't significantly harm your battery from a chemical perspective. Most people won't see a major difference in battery health whether they use fast or slow chargers. It's more important to use your phone in a way that works best for you and not to lose sleep over charging habits. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech insights. Until next time, peace.